yung nasasabihin nila, Kuya Puto, under desire ka. Malalaki mong tao, but ikaw ang nasa bahay, ikaw ang naglilisip. Magawa nito, <laughs> ikaw ang bata. Hey guys, you're in a nutshell with me, Ina. Very interesting topic ang ating pag-uusapan today. Habang ang dami mga Pilipino sa Canada na nagkasabi, syempre, na, ang hirap din, syempre. It's not easy to build your wealth here in Canada. Ang hirap makaipon, syempre, uh, mataas din ang cost of living. Pero yung kakausapin natin ngayon, found a way to be able to retire at 45 years old. Wow, de ba ang uh, ang galeng? Anyway, we will talk to him and get some tips kung paano uh, posibleng magawa yan, de ba? Makapag-retire ng mas maaga. Hello, baka kilala niyo na siya. Nako, he's also a vlogger, Mark Mendoza, aka Kuya Puto. Hi Kuya Puto. Hello, wow, hello everybody. Hello Athena. I'm so thankful na pumayag ka. There are some meron ako mga viewers requesting to have you. Um, on the channel para, I guess, to share your insights din, di ba? I'm very flattered. Thank you very much. Maraming <laughs> salamat. <laughs> okay. You heard my intro, di ba? I'm sure you've seen this. Kahit sa mga vlogs, di ba? Yung mga Pilipinong nasa Canada. Hirap din ang buhay. Hindi totoo yung sinasabi nila na pagdating mo doon, eh, yayaman ka na yung mga ganyan. <laughs> And yet, you were... Um, Able to retire at 45. Yes. How, yeah. Can you sh share with us first basic idea on paano ka pag retire at 45? Pa well, uh, first of all, I did not do it. My wife mm. did it. Okay. Yung, well, she played a very big role kung paano namin nagawa to. Uh, without her, uh, none of this would be possible. <laughs> Got it. So you, both of you retired ganon, at uh, 45? Paano? Wife, she's still working. Oh, still okay. Uh, it just works out better. Na pinagretire niya ako ng early. That way, I can take care of all the little tiny things na hindi niya that na hindi niya na dapat uh, waste time on. Para ako na lang gumawa. That way, she can focus 100% on her career and her business, di ba? It just works mm -hmm. better. Dahil I'm not gonna lie, impossible po yung nagawa namin kundi dahil sa teamwork. Kailangan dalawa po kayo because it helps enormously. You know, mm -hmm. dahil The power of two is way stronger than the power of one, diba? Correct, of course, um, yeah. But to give you a brief background, uh, ako po, I was in the casino industry, gaming industry, for 26 years. Wow, tagal, okay. Higher. So, to make a long story short, along the way, we met a lot of uh, mga tao na naging mga mentor namin. Okay, dahil, you know, mahilig kami sa, sa real estate, mahilig kami sa, sa investment portfolios, di ba? Dahil mm -hmm. yung sa, sa financial industry siya nagtatrabaho, so marami kami naging mga kaibigan within that industry na or along the way tinulungan kami. And mm -hmm. ako po, you know, marami po ako naging mga kaibigan na, you know, nag, nag invest in income properties and over the years, parang kinaibigan namin, kinaibigan ko, and tinulungan po nila kami to understand how to make that work for you. That way you can uh, you can elevate. Mm -hmm. And through trial and error, through trial and error, you know, we were able to get to the point na ngayon, nandito na kami. So was it um, a matter of investing, saving and investing? Ganun ba? What, what was your main strategy that allowed you to, you know, tell yourself, na, sige, Kuya Puto, pwedeng ikaw, you stop working na. Well, you never have enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true too. <laughs> that's human nature yan, di ba? Mm -hmm. It's a matter of, you know, are you able to sustain the current lifestyle that you have Mm -hmm. without having to commit to a full-time job. So, sa amin lang talaga, we needed like a source of income to supplement my side. Dahil yung si wife ko, nag-work pa rin siya. You know, she's got her own career going on. So between, like, you know, what we were, what we were able to establish for me and what she's currently doing, we're able to sustain the lifestyle that we've created for ourselves and it works out, di ba? Mm -hmm. that, we decided when she made me retire, 
yung value ko wala na dun sa trabaho. Because whatever I was making dun sa trabaho ko, you know, I can contribute more. Maybe not the same financially, but my value is here. Dahil if I'm able to take care of everything else na hindi niya na dapat uh, gawin, you know, she, yung sinusweldo ko sa trabaho ko is compensated on her side because mm. she's productive. she could be more productive, di ba? Plus, mm. yung, uh, yung mga investments na nakuha namin over the years, so pag samahin mo yun, it's good. It works yeah. out and it yeah. work out. Yeah. So really, it's 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 like a balancing act, di ba? The setup is actually admirable yeah. in a way. Alam mo naman, lalo na for Filipino culture, di ba? Sasabihin nila, wow! It's the wife who is continuously working, si Guy. Sa mind ng maraming mga Pilipino natin na hindi sanay sa ganyang setup. O yung, yung lalaki na nasa bahay, yung mga ganyan. What do you say? Ako, I admire that kind of setup. Ang galing. But what do you say to those who doesn't see the difference between what you're explaining Yung mm -hmm. baga, you being retired by your wife versus um, sasabihin ng iba na, ano, edi parang sinusustentuhan siya ng misis niya. Alam mo naman, some thinking that way, di ba? Ano po yun eh? It's, it's mindset. Okay? Dahil dito sa Canada, kailangan, ano, teamwork kayo. Kailangan yung ego, itabi ninyo. Dahil... Everybody lives a different dynamic. Every family situation is unique, diba? So if you're able to find a dynamic that works for your family, regardless of what other people out there think. Mm -hmm. okay? I agree, I agree. Ano pa kayo alam nila? Dahil, tinan nyo ko, marami pong, like, not, hindi marami, but there's some people that, you know, when they see yung dynamic namin sa bahay, you know, sasabihin nila, Kuya Puto, under the saya ka. Oh, mga ganyan. <laughs> oh, kalalaki mong tao, but ikaw ang nasa bahay, ikaw ang naglilisik. <laughs> My answer to them is, I don't have to go to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. This works for our family, and this is what makes us live the way we do. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, hindi naman sila magbabayad ng bills ninyo. Correct? Yeah. So, what would you think about what they're saying? Kung, like, you know, if more people follow this type of mindset, like, you know, it's at the end of the day, what works best for the family? It's not what you can yabang to other people. Correct. Alam mo, yung yabang factor na yan, minsan, yan na prevent sa iba na yeah. makamit kung ano man ang, you know, comfortable lifestyle na nakakamit nila Kuya Puto yeah. and his family, di ba? Uh, dynamic po kami. At the very beginning, my wife and I, we've been together for 23 years, right? At the very beginning, na-acknowledge ko po, between her and I, I'm the worker and she's the one with the talent. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ako, I've accepted very early on, hanggang dito lang aabutin ko. <laughs> <laughs> Yung wife ko, I know she has a gift. So we decided very early, you know what? Let's nurture the gift that God gave us. And let's see how big we can make this. And at the same time, tignan natin kung mag-work sa dynamic natin if, you know, all the effort and all the push mapupunta sa'yo in sa akin because alam ko na yung abilidad ko eh. Right? Like I'm more of a motivator and she's more of, like I said, the talent, right? And ganun ang ginawa namin and it seemed to work for us. But at the same time, you have to understand, kailangan yung mga ego ninyo, put it aside because alam ko, Tayong mga Pilipino, like, you know, lalo na yung generation natin. You know, I'm a Gen Xer, right? I was raised in a macho type uh, family exactly. house. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Really, man, kailangan ikaw yung uh, padre de familia. Kailangan ikaw magkukontrol lang lahat. Dapat ikaw ang breadwinner. Like, all of that good stuff, di ba? But I don't know if it's good. But yeah. <laughs> well, ganun pa rin. Marami pa rin ganun. Yeah. Oh. But then, naisip ko. Tinitingnan ko yung mga pamilya na kilala ko na ganun ang dynamic nila. Were they able to elevate? Were they able to move up? Were they able to do something special or different? And for the most part, they live decent, pero they never really were able to, 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 to transition. 
Okay, Kuya Puto, they might be wondering, uh, oh, sige na nga, oh, sige, Kuya Puto, we understand and uh, we agree with what you're saying. But so, what specific uh, thing that, I don't, so what did you and your wife do? Sabi mo, di ba, you worked in the uh, gaming industry for more than 20 years. You retired yes. from that job na, Kuya Puto. Yes. Kasi more than 20, 26 years na rin, eh, yeah. And then your wife is working, sabi mo, in the financial uh, industry as a uh, what po? Uh, she worked for, uh, one of the biggest uh, mortgage brokers in Canada. And then, um, syempre, tanongin nila, okay, Kuya Puto, you retired 20-something years. Mm -hmm. What did you do with what you got? How were you able to maximize your earnings from those years that, you know, helped you also be able to do this? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll share with you a little bit of what we did, right? I can't, mm -hmm. that was just <laughs> financial. But okay, along the along those years, with along those twenty six years, na nagtrabaho ko sa casino, we were able to acquire a couple properties, income mm -hmm. properties, and they generate income on a monthly basis. Dahil dante ina pag bumili ka ng bahay, hindi kasing mahal ngayon. Lalo na dito sa tirahan namin sa Brantford, right? Like back mm -hmm. then, buy houses for like one hundred and fifty, one hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Ngayon, that's unheard of. Mm -hmm. And we were able to acquire a couple that we rent out for income. And at the same time, we were able to invest in uh, portfolios, like stocks. And that pays dividends. And that is, quote unquote, source of income also. Yeah. The biggest thing was nung COVID, nung, that's, that was when I actually handed my resignation to sa trabaho ko. Dahil, uh, you know, we wanted to do bigger and better things, right? And believe it or not, <laughs> this came as a surprise to me. I actually had pension building up 26 years that I did not know about. Oh, wow. Dahil, okay. Yeah, dahil nung uh, 20 years old ako, when I signed up for the company that I retired from, I guess part of my employment package was pension uh, minamatch nila. Yeah, so they, okay. Spent from one of my paychecks every month, dahil di ba dalawa paychecks na nakukuha mo? Mm. So one of the paychecks, they extract 4% and they match it. And I'm not going to lie, chamba lang siguro to, I guess. <laughs> I had no clue na I signed that piece of paper when I was 20 years old. <laughs> For 26 years, compound and compound yun. <laughs> and then when I decided to, well, when we decided to put my resignation in, like around COVID time, I got a call from the pension board and they basically gave me a number. Para ako nagulat. <laughs> oh, wow. I was surprised because I was not expecting that number to be that number. So ginawa, ng, ginawa namin <laughs> after I was jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> uh your wife ko, like i said she's in the financial industry right so we have well she has a lot of partners that deal with like you know like more financial planners mga ganun. so we took that amount and we invested it okay your portfolio okay. you build it you built it uh yeah how ako wala kong alam sa mga investment investment when it comes to stocks and stuff like that we have a financial planner that takes care of that so we just check periodically how it's doing and then we get dividends. And as far as the rental properties are concerned, like I said, pinaparentahan yun. So every month, merong income, di ba? Tapos yung nakuha ko dun sa trabaho ko as pension, we, re we took that out from uh, my company's, uh, well, my old work's uh, fund, I guess. And mm -hmm. then we invested it with the same financial planner that we use for the rest of the stuff that we have. Oh, wow. O, oh, diba? Sana all. Yan ang nga. Sana all merong ganon. <laughs> Ay, nako. You know what I like also about uh, uh, what you were telling, uh, saying earlier? You surrounded yourself with people yes. who know about financial, who are financially literate, basically. No? Magagaling sa... Pero I think that's also okay, no, Kuya Puto. You have to surround yourself with people who will, who can teach you, who can inspire you. Sobrang halaga. Because uh, yung lola ko dati nung bata ako, sabi sa akin, show me the five people you hang around with 
and I will tell you your future. So yan. Pero nung bata ko, hindi ko naiintindihan yun. When I was growing up, napansin ko, kung meron akong gusto sa buhay, kunyari gusto ko, ng, uh, gusto ko magkabahay, for example, magtatanong ba ako sa tao na walang bahay? Or magtatanong ako sa tao na meron mga bahay? So it's a simple thing, right? Dahil sa eskwelahan dito sa Canada, hindi naman tinuturo yung financial literacy. Eh. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, teacher, algebra, calculus, like, you know, all of the stuff na more than likely hindi mo gagamitin sa buhay. So napansin namin ni Mises, you know, if we befriend, if we become close to people na meron sila, na meron kaming gusto, they can act as mentors. And, you know, along the way, matuturuan po kami, meron kaming matututunan that, that maybe we can apply to ourselves para guminhawa ng konti yung buhay namin. Pagkali namin sinasabi sa mga anak namin yun. You know, be very, very careful about who you allow into your inner circle dahil may influence ka din eh. You know, parang ano yan, parang nakakahawa talaga. So, if you run around with a bunch of toxic people, more than likely, magiging toxic ka rin. Correct. Agree. Surround yourself with people that want to put a dent dito sa mundong ito, financially, spiritually, or what have you. Guess, guess what? Mahahawa ka rin, which is good. Napansin nyo ba minsan pag meron kayong naka-interact na tao, after you speak to that person for maybe five minutes, parang pagod na pagod kayo? Parang ang tawag na rin energy vampire? Yun ang nilalayuan namin. <laughs> okay. In in uh, in your vlog, I noticed also that you know you talk about Filipino traits yes. uh, that you think um, are preventing our kababayans from you know achieving whatever financial goals that they may have. Like the post kanang content about that, eh, nakikita ko yeah. so, What do you think are the biggest mistakes na lang? Uh, sa akin, napapansin ko sa mga Filipino. You know, sasabihin nila, oh, narinig ko dito, narinig ko doon, narinig ko sa ate ko, narinig ko sa kuya ko, narinig ko sa aso ko, mga ganyan, <laughs> right? Whenever they make a decision. Dapat, you know, they have to do their due diligence. Okay, that's number one. And number two, they have to, they have to stay away from, you know, yung hearsay. Mm-hmm. You know, base your decisions on facts. Okay, don't just... Porque ganito, ganon, ganito sinabi niya, ganito sinabi nito, ganon din ang gagawin niyo, mali. Actually, made a video about this. Hindi ko na matandaan yung ibig. I know, I know. Parang isa doon, uh, you mentioned like, uh, yung mga typical na buying things you can't afford. Just so you can ride along with a trend, latest gadgets, yung mga ganyan, ano? Uh, sa atin, di ba, napansin ko, mahilig yung ta- ma- mahilig tayo dun sa mga branded items sa sabi mo ran like ngayon ano yata yung iPhone 15 or iPhone 16 mm-hmm. everybody is going to the mall bibili sila ng bagong iPhone and kind of like 2 3000 dollars mga ganun tapos babayaran nila ng monthly ang bigat noon kailangan mo ba talaga ng ganung kamahal na cellphone kailangan mo ba ng ng bag na Louis Vuitton kailangan mo ba kailangan mo ba ng bag na Prada you know like <laughs> Kailangan, unahin mo muna yung importante, yung mga bills mo. Nakakain ba kayo? Nababayari, nababayarin nyo ba yung mga bills ninyo? You know, ayos ba yung sa trabaho nyo? Ayos ba yung mga savings ninyo? Instead na, oh, bibili ka na ito, bibili ka nun, para lang, it's like a flex, right? Pero yung mga tao na, quote-unquote, niyayabangan mo, mga wala namang pakialam sa iyo yun. Eh? Because at the end of the day, hindi naman sila magbabayad ng mga bills mo. Di ba? So para... It's like you're fueling the fire. <laughs> the fire that will be put out. Tapos, ikaw yung nasusunog. So, you know, it doesn't make any sense. But lahat ng Pinoy, all of us, you know, we've been guilty of that at one point or another, right? So I guess it's one of those mindsets na kailangan tanggalin natin para umunlad tayo. Correct. Okay. I agree. I forgot to ask this dapat uh, early cur- t- earlier ko uh, tinanong. But also, Kuya Puto, do you think... Um, yung na-attain yung financial freedom, basically. Big factor ba that you are in Canada? Um, kumbaga, I mean, uh, 
you know, Canada has different also benefits. Simply, obviously, you don't have to think about healthcare expenses and other things like that. How big of a factor was the, I don't know, system of government or employment in Canada? If na isip mo yon na nakatulong sa inyo, that may be more difficult for, let's say, our kababayan sa home. Yung mga... See, marami din po, we still have relatives sa Pilipinas, right? And I can see the struggle over there. Pero tayong mga Pilipino, we're very resourceful. We're very hardworking. Kaya, kaya lang, in my opinion, sa akin lang to, because every situation is different. Every person's journey is different. Diba? Individual tayo. Tayo lahat unique yung mga situation natin. Sa, sa situation namin, dalawa ni Mises, if we were in the Philippines, sobrang mahihirapan talaga po kami. As in sobra. Dahil... I don't know if it's true, sabi po nila, sa Pilipinas, yung competition talagang napaka, napakalakas. Tapos, you have to have like so many degrees, you have to have a PhD, or you have to be connected somehow, like for you to be able to even get to the door of success. Mm-hmm. Dito sa Canada, ang daming entrepreneurs, you know, mga walang tinapos. Okay? Yeah. Like, you know, it's been proven time and time again, lalo na dito sa economy natin. You know, merong andami yung mga tao nagiging successful without like formal education. So, dito sa Canada, that's possible. And I'm pretty sure sa Pilipinas possible. Pero, palagay ko, mas maghihirapan yung mga tao sa Pilipinas if they want to do that. Dahil, I can, there's just more opportunities here. Yeah. You know? And growing up here, I've seen it. I have seen it. Basta lang talaga, you have to be focused on what you want to do. You know, you have to learn how to commit 100%. Dahil karamihan po ng tao, susubukan nila yung like, isang bagay. Tapos, one month, two months, one year, quit na sila. You know, it's longer than that. You know, it's may proseso yan eh. Like, success doesn't happen overnight. Okay? What one person deems as success is different to another person. It, hindi lahat based sa, sa pera. Okay? Mm-hmm. You know, porque sasabihin mo, itong taon to, successful dahil mayaman, does that person feel that way about his accomplishments? You know, it might be different. Dahil iba-iba yan, right? Sa akin lang, pag gumising ka sa umaga, and you look at yourself in the mirror, and you can honestly tell yourself, hey, you know what? I don't feel like doing that right now. I'll do that later. If you have that option, I don't care if you have $100 in your pocket. I don't care if you have a million dollars in your pocket. Mayaman ka. Because yeah. it's about time. It's about time dito. You know, if you're able to control time, which a lot of people can't or they haven't figured out how to do that, mayaman ka once you figure that out. Because time is the one commodity and hindi mo makukuha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindi mo maibabalik. Correct. And uh, when you think about it, you work to have more free time in the future. No, it's so weird, di ba? Yes. yes. <laughs> Ay, nako. Okay, Kuya Puto, I want to prolong this conversation, but the technical difficulty, difficulties are really bothering me. But I think we've had enough. Maybe we can have another one. I hope that uh, you, you are game uh, minutes. It went by so fast. Um, but thank you so much, Kuya Puto. For our viewers who might hear some uh, glitches sa audio, hindi ko nga alam anong, hindi ko ma-figure out what is wrong, but uh, pasensya na. I hope to do uh, to fix this after uh, taping this episode with Kuya Puto. But Kuya Puto, thank you so much. Follow nyo rin po ang account ni Kuya Puto. Kuya Puto on uh, YouTube. Having me on your show. It's my honor to be to be on your show. It really is. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.